Hey y'all, how's everybody doing? Y'all look at this mascara. Is it the best? It's Chanel Inimitable, yet back to an old favorite. And it just, because it does so good, y'all. Look. It's trying to be spring. <laughs> no, I guess this is fall blooming. Ah, oh, they cleaned my car today and it looks so nice. Yes. They even got the fingernail. No, they didn't. Look. <laughs> but anyway. Look at my coffee cup. Is that ridiculous? <laughs> I have to have something fun. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This has moved back so far. Hold on. Y'all know the deal. You have to be put in the cup so that I may, um, oh my gosh, I'm so far back. And then move the car over there so far up. Do you hear? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, y'all don't give up on me. What's wrong with me? I think it's such a pretty breezy day. And, um, so where am I? I'm right here. So today I did the weirdest thing. I wore all silver except for this one chain. But I love it. Isn't it pretty? I got this. Now, some people have said something about me talking about my jewelry too much, like I'm bragging. This isn't even real. This, um, I got at a little boutique. If y'all remember that Boulangini, Boulangini, Boulangini. And, uh, it's not real, but it looks so real, y'all. It's so pretty. Sometimes I just do this for fashion purposes, just like this ring. No, that's not real, you sillies. But isn't that a pretty fake? I like it. So, how is everybody doing? hope you're doing well or you are good or you are doing well keep the proper English if you would please um, I guess I'm gonna drive all the way around this parking lot just because no I'm not no I'm not no I'm not I'm gonna turn around because it's silly to drive all the way around everybody I know look on cell phone on cell phone on cell phone everybody I see is on their cell phone but what am I doing I'm filming a video on mine a little bit different I would say oh there's my friend that was gonna work out and I didn't work out with her <laughs> y'all I can't seem to be serious about it I never claim to be the perfect person as an example I'm not the example to follow on so many things, and that is one of them. In my heart of hearts, I want to work out, but when it comes to working out, I, don't, I just, it's its not as much effort, even though I know it's not going to be very comfortable. It's just, I don't want to take the time. It's the time. And people are like, Beth, you can just take 30 minutes. I'm like, well, that's exactly like what I'm talking about. It would either have to be, at the end of the day, it's not a good time to make a decision, y'all, because you're already exhausted and you don't feel like doing anything else. So, the best time, if you're not a morning person, which I'm not, is at lunch. And that is what I've got to get in the habit of. Actually, I have my, shoe, my new shoes at work. And the only thing is, is an outfit. I need some leggings and an oversized t-shirt. It's that simple, Beth. Why am I making it complicated? Or some sweatpants. No, not sweatpants. You need leggings so you can move easy. Um, and I have them in a gym bag on the golf cart at home and keep forgetting to put it back in my car because one time I put it in the car and then I had to go I don't know I don't know y'all and so a really good thing happened today um a dog I found on the side of the road and I've worked very very hard to try to figure out whether or not I should take it in I put out signs everywhere trying to um help find the owner been over 30 days now and I mean I put signs everywhere contacted the um, animal control main society <sighs> nobody wanted this dog back it broke my heart because if I lost mine I would want somebody to work hard like that may putting up signs calling the local a chip my baby and I know not everybody has the money for that so it's like well Beth not everybody can afford that I understand that I do 
um, then you probably don't need a dog. I'm serious. If you can't afford, it's almost like having a child. If you can't afford the vet bills, and they are high because you have to keep them on heartworm preventative to keep them from getting worms that are a miserable death, then you shouldn't have a dog because I know people say, well, I'm just not going to put them on preventative. That is a horrible thing. And in the South, they're going to get heartworms because of mosquitoes. It is a horrible death for them. It's a misery. So it is, I mean, the worms eat their heart to death. And so they're, they're alive and just struggling. It's horrible. I've seen it. And so this dog did test when I, I took her to the vet. She did test heartworm positive, which broke my heart because they said, but she's too old for the treatment. She won't make it through when she gets um, symptomatic enough, meaning if she starts suffering pretty bad, we're going to have to put her down. Would you like us to call you? And I said, yes, I'll, I'll come and just be with her as she goes to sleep. Because what they do, I think, is give them an overdose of barbiturates. So they just go to sleep instantly and never wake up. Which, gosh, what a peaceful way to go compared to a horrible, horrible suffering of heartworms. So again, I know I sound harsh, but if you cannot afford a dog, don't get a dog. Because you have to take them for their annual shots because they can catch all kinds of things. Heartworm preventative doesn't just stop heartworms, but hookworms, which are transferable to people, um, roundworms, all kinds of worms it helps prevent. And um, so anyway, so I was willing to do the treatment. It was $1,000, and my husband's like, Beth, no, you got to quit picking up strays. But it was awful. She was just walking along. She could barely walk. Well, it turns out the reason she could barely walk is because she's so old. And today, I found out that... A rescue place wanted her to go to this veterinarian who is a lady and she is going to hospice her which means that she will keep her um, I guess let her live with her until the symptomatic heartworm surfaces and she has to put her down but she's a doctor so she can put her down humanely and until then because of her pain um, from you know arthritis in her hips she may even give her pain meds and just love on her they've already bathed her like five times because she has a skin problem they thought she was just really bad you know because when I picked her up she had bugs all over her and everything it was awful it was awful I, I know I shouldn't do these things because I cry and I obsess and I'm my heart breaks so bad. My husband says, babe, you've you got too much compassion to do these kind of things. Because it is, compassion doesn't mean I'm wonderful. It means my heart is too tender. It's, I can't stand it. Anyway, and, um, but the good news is, is her ending, which is imminent, at least will be, I shouldn't say imminent, whenever she does die, it will be a peaceful, assisted death by a veterinarian who rescued her. So it's like... Oh, thank you, Lord. So, anyway, you got to be really careful when you pick up a stray to do everything in your power to get it back to its rightful owner. And I always pray that God would not let it get back to its rightful owner if that owner was abusive or not good for, could not afford to take care of the dog, but instead that God would bring someone else. And in this case, for whatever reason, you know, I'm passing a sign that says found dog that I put up. There's another one. Found dog. I need to pull over and take those down. I'll do it in the morning. Anyway, because I'll go by this way. And that's where I saw her. was right back there. Picked her up. Drove all through here. And now someone else has put up a sign for their dog they lost. And I'm always looking for that one. It's a white Pyrenees. So I'm always looking for it so I can pick it up for and call her if I find her dog. I just, I, look at me. I feel like I'm scouting for Pokemon. I'm just, you know... I don't know if y'all ever play it, pay it, play it, but the trainer, you, your icon, your, um, whatever you call it, Alcazon, Tactron, you know, when it's your, you're the, what's it called, not an icon, what's it called, when you are the, I can't think of the word. My dad says that. He's 91. He says, I can't think of things. I'm like, Daddy, I can't think of things anymore either. I don't feel so bad. I don't think it's just age. I think it's, we have so much on our mind. Avatar! <laughs> it's an avatar. Anyway, when you're playing, your avatar does like this the whole time. They're always looking for Pokemon. 
and I'm just always looking for stray dogs. I don't know why. I don't, I don't really do cats. For what? Well, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I picked up so many cats, and I'm allergic is why I don't really. But there was one cat that was in the median of the highway, and I had to pick it up. And it turned out to be such a wonderful story because when I backed up. <laughs> And I, I was so blessed that there was no real traffic on the highway because I literally backed up the left lane. There was no traffic. It was not a big highway, like an interstate. It was a smaller highway. And I backed up, opened my door, this little kind of calico, no, like a golden and white striped kitten pops out of grass this high. And I said, come here. And she went, meow, 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 meow. And she came over and running to me and jumped into my hand. She was desperate for help. And I thought, you know, it's a good thing I got this kitty because those big um, mowers come by. They would have chopped her to pieces. I was so thankful. But anyway, I got her. Got her in the car and suddenly it hit me. And I put her over on the seat and she went. <laughs> and she had a, a bite missing out of here. And, she, and, and so I took her to um, the um shelter and they said there were no kill well I called three days later and they said she's scheduled for a kill date this afternoon I'm like you told me it was no kill so I went in and got her and they said you're gonna have to pay $35 I'm like oh my gosh so I paid $35 to get the cat out and then I'm allergic to cats so I had a friend that said they would take it was him and they came and picked him up and they named him Romeo and he's happy now anyway I don't know why I told you all these animal stories because I needed that to happen today Love y'all. Bye.